and this is only available in Excel uh, with uh, Pro Plus okay okay so we have say 33 questions and I randomized this data because it was proprietary information so we've got these 33 questions and based on these responses we're going to determine what a person should study in college okay completely made up but there are a lot of formulas in here so lots of formulas and then down here we have uh, things that help us break ties to then determine you know the, the first two fields of study and then the last and the ninth one so we wind up with nursing jazz studies and taxidermy okay now there's this thing called inquire and workbook analysis in inquire have either of you used this no I haven't right I'm not. This is okay. New. Well, what happens is click on workbook analysis and you get this window that comes up. Okay. Hopefully, this won't take long. Okay. So you can get a summary. You can have it look, you know, analyze linked workbooks, visible sheets, hidden sheets, very hidden sheets. Very uh, formulas hidden. Used, great formula. Huh? I thought if Which, you make things very hidden, it's not supposed to be accessible. You know, hey, it seems like well, you violated the rules. If, if you've got Pro Plus and use Inquire, it might bust you out man okay so I am not gonna uh, export this I've already done that but what you do is you can export this report to Excel and then it'll give you a button to then launch the report and this is what it looks like okay so it says workbook analysis right it's it gave me the workbooks name and then added workbook analysis after it. So here is the summary page that says uh, the file size is just one visible sheet. No very hidden sheets are hidden sheets. 461 formulas. A lot of information in the summaries. Okay, the visible sheet is called calculator. Then here is a list of all of the formulas and their values and then notes that you can put right so all of the formulas comments that you can make the cell address the name of the sheet okay sales with no reference uh, formulas with no cell reference so that can help you see if there is something where there is just somebody's put numbers in a cell and calculated the numbers with no cell reference. Okay. Blank cell references. Let's see. Validation criteria. Okay, so L4 through L36, the validation is allow any whole number between 0 and 6. Okay. merged cells sometimes these are hard to find okay in 44 through v44 the same is merged cell okay and hidden rows and columns 40 through 42 are hidden rows and let's go back and look at some of these things so that you can tell you know should that be that way or not So here is the merged cell, 44 in through V. Yep, that, that's supposed to be merged. Okay, and I'm not going to try to filter that or sort that. It's okay for that to be merged. 
okay? And yes, there are validations in this column because the maximum value is six. And so if I try to put a W, it doesn't take it. Okay, so the Inquire Analyze Workbook is really a good thing and it can help troubleshoot and just help you see what you are dealing with. So that is my hot tip of the week. For you people that have Pro Plus, check out Inquire and all of these options for workbook analysis. That was a, that was a new one for me, Oz. Ah, that was cool. You, you see it? You see it being useful? This is that. What's oh that? yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so let's let's give this. Uh, oh. Give this uh, I'll go with a four. All right. Not everybody's going to use it. Um, there are ways of doing this. You just have to be really detailed. But uh, check it out. 